Hello and welcome back to the Bit Garage. And in this video, I want to dive in a little bit deeper into the GTA 6 $2 billion budget to figure out A, where did all this money come from? And B, does the budget really even matter in the end? And are we going to walk away with an adrenaline rush in the experience of what feels like a $2 billion video game? Maybe we end up having to wait until Red Dead Redemption 3 or GTA 7 or is this whole thing just a bust in that a $2 billion budget is just a big fancy number that doesn't really matter in the end? To better understand this, we need to deep dive into the past and figure out other successful video games, their budgets, where that money went to, and just how important is the budget really in a video game development. The video game industry is a lot bigger than people think. The market for video games is currently thriving. Superdata Research estimated that the revenue of the global video games industry was around $159.3 billion in the year 2020. By comparison, the revenue of the global music industry was valued at $19.1 billion, and the global film industry was valued at $41.7 billion, which means that the market for video games was 2.5 times larger in 2020 than music and cinema put together. In 2022, the video game industry topped out its revenue at an estimated $347 billion, with the majority of that being in cell phone gaming. And now Rockstar wants to go and make a $2 billion budget game? There's not a single video game in history that has come anywhere close to that kind of budget. Now, it's really difficult to find the exact budget of every single video game, but after a few hours of research, we were at least able to come up with three video games that we think is worthy to discuss on this video that were successful video games with a really high budget that impacted the industry in a major way. The first game on our list that comes in at the number three spot for largest budget with tons of success is Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 in 2009 with a $250 million budget. Believe it or not, this game had a modest development budget sitting at around $40 to $50 million with a whopping estimated $200 million into the marketing of it. Now you need to remember in 2009 that YouTube wasn't very big, so they were heavily relying on GameStop posters, cardboard cutouts, TV ads, etc. All we had on YouTube those days were music videos and a video of this kid jacked up on medication after the dentist. I didn't feel anything. Yeah. Uh, I feel funny. Kind of felt good, didn't it? Uh, is this real life? Yeah, this is real life. Modern Warfare 2 went on to making $550 million in just five days worldwide, and just over $1 billion in one year. Activision claims that they had 8 million players online within the first five days of release. For comparison, Diablo 4 in 2023 brought in about 10 million unique players in all of June. It took a whole month to accomplish for Diablo 4 what Call of Duty did in just five days, which truly, I believe it, I was there, I lived it. In 2009, the video game industry revenue was only $19.7 billion, so COD made up 5% of the industry with that single video game. Modern Warfare 2 went on to sell around 25 million copies worldwide. Now, I feel I owe an honorable mention to Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2's little brother, Black Ops 1 as it technically outsold Modern Warfare 2 and had a similar budget of $250 million. It went on to make about $350 million in its first day, and estimates show that they broke even about an hour and a half after the midnight release of Black Ops. But I felt that most of that success was due to the fact of how well Modern Warfare 2 did. MW2 was a massive marketing jump for the Black Ops video game. It went on receiving some pretty high ratings, also from game review companies with IGN giving it a 9.5, Instant Gaming 4.5, GameSpot 8.5, Steam it sits at a 9, and then a few 10s from reliable sources, like Common Sense Media, where a creative user by the name of Guy69 gave it a 5 star rating. So why did this game make the list? Well, if you go back and you look at history, this game essentially paved the way for the whole Call of Duty franchise, and its $250 million budget was an insane number back in the day. But what it did to the series was made it a Guinness Book of World Record holder by April of 2021 for selling over 400 million copies total in the series. Obviously, it wasn't all because of MW2, and they had to consistently pump out solid first-person shooter games 
after that, but it's the foundation that the franchise rests on, in our opinion. So sometimes large budgets early on can be the framework for something bigger. On to the next game. Cyberpunk 2077 is the second game on our list, coming in at the number two spot with an estimated $316 million budget. The hype was immense for this highly anticipated CD Projekt Red title, partially due to how long it took them to develop it and when they started marketing it and the budget being so intensely high back in the day. The game went on selling 13 million copies and generated about $400 million in profit by the end of 2022, finally turning a profit despite all of its game-breaking bugs and glitches at release. The first week that Cyberpunk was released, the community from what I remember were all pretty angry about how poor the game looked and operated after it was in development for nearly eight years. It took a while, but after months of pushing out patches and fixes and a few DLCs, the game has finally come around to be a pretty solid game with decent ratings ranging from 8 to 10 across multiple sources. Now why did Cyberpunk make our list? Well, I wanted to show you guys that even games with massive budgets and the majority of it going into game development don't always turn out the best. Cyberpunk grew its audience through strategic marketing at E3 over an eight-year span, and then the game fell victim to the cries of the public wanting a game to be released that wasn't ready, and they pushed it out just to hear the cries and anger of the masses of how broken the game was. Now granted, the money was well spent in the end, it just took a few years to get there, because unfortunately, they didn't manage the budget in putting it into the right aspects of development of the game early on when it needed to be. And hence, this is why I'm just going to patiently wait for Diablo 4 to get fixed, knowing maybe one day it'll be good. Oh! third game on our list at the number one spot is Red Dead Redemption 2 with a $500 million budget. I'm sure as everyone knows, this is Rockstar's second most famous game, next to Grand Theft Auto. Red Dead Redemption 2 sold nearly 23 million copies in the first year, and it sold 55 million copies to date. It made a profit of $725 million in the first three days of release back in 2018, and it generated over $1.4 billion in profit in the past five years. The game is still widely played by the masses with some of the best ratings known to the gaming industry. The game received 275 perfect ratings, won 175 Game of the Year awards for different reviewers, and won four awards at the Game Awards in 2018, going toe for toe with God of War. Now why did I list Red Dead Redemption 2 instead of GTA 5? Well GTA 5 only had actually a budget of $265 million. Now for GTA 6 in the $2 billion budget, we can make safe assumptions that a good majority of the money is going into marketing and the development of Rage 9. There's a little bit of a budget for lawyer fees considering that them getting sued is already an issue at this point. And then of course the rest of it is into the development of the game when it comes to the graphics, details, all that kind of stuff. So how much does the budget really matter? It really depends. Some games like Red Dead Redemption 2, it was vital for the success of the video game, with half of that money going into the marketing and advertising of the game, and then a good majority of it going into the development. But Rockstar really needed that hefty budget to make the game look great, have an amazing storyline, and make sure that they had enough support online with the Rage Engine that this game was going to have a lot of longevity and replayability that people would be playing it for a long time. As for games like Cyberpunk, in that developer, I would personally say in my own opinion that they had a little bit of mismanagement when it came to the money and that the budget didn't really play that big of a role when it came to the success of Cyberpunk. I think in the early stages of the development of the game, they could have utilized some of that money just a little bit better, less on marketing and a little bit more into the development and the details of the game to make sure that they were releasing a fine-tuned game. Eventually, Cyberpunk did come around to be a successful game but it was not successful as Red Dead Redemption 2. So how much does the budget really matter? Well, we also have other games like Minecraft, where there's no real details on the budget of this game because it was simply made by a man and the budget was whatever he valued his time as. So the budget could have been anywhere between a dollar to $10,000, depending on how he valued his own time. But at the end of the day, Minecraft sold to Microsoft 
for $2.5 billion. So in my personal opinion, no, the budget actually does not really matter in the success of a video game. So do we think that GTA 6 will be the best video game ever made to date because of that budget? That all depends on the individual gamer at hand, honestly. According to Rockstar, they are so confident in this video game that they're considering the starting price to be $150. So the real question is, Will the increased price of the game hurt your impression of the video game and make you feel like did you really buy a $2 billion budget video game knowing that you've paid far more than you have in the past for a video game? And will you at that point feel forced to play it more due to the cost? My name is Robert. Thank you for watching this video. Be sure to like and subscribe if you found it entertaining and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.